right, so I'll start this meeting. I'll call this meeting to order. It is 5.08 p.m. August 27th, 2024, uh, the Springfield Conservation Commission. And we have a certificate of compliance, uh, petition ID 8192, uh, certificate of compliance for the property known as 106 to 126 Island Pond Road. Uh, filed the EP number 294-0278. Original file date was December 5th, 1991. Uh, the applicant is Joe Sullivan. And once again, the location is at 106 to 126 Island Pond Road. Uh, we have it's a, it's Paul Tanner from O'Reilly and Talbot uh, here to discuss the certificate of compliance. Yes, very good. Well, thank you all for on short notice uh, assembling to speak with us. Uh, the, the applicant here, um, Mr. Sullivan is an interested party in the property. And I, I have a screen share ready to go if, if I would can get your consent to share. Yep. It, it might be most helpful to look at a map. Yeah. Allow, okay. Okay. All right, let me, let me give that a try again. And uh, maybe we'll see my screen, maybe not. Can everybody see? Uh, I, can, I can see it. Yep, I can see it. Yep. Right. Okay, and you might see a cursor going across the map. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, very good. Well, thank you. Thanks for your patience. So uh, this this is a, a, a strip mall. There's an auto zone on, on the uh, on this side and the rest of the of the uh, property is vacant. And um, this order of conditions concerned way back in 91, an interested party wanted to put in some groundwater monitoring wells in the woods uh, within the within the 100 foot buffer from the the, the uh, delineated wetlands if you can see my uh, my screen my uh, tracking of my mouse here and in in the woods um, there were four proposed monitoring wells and we found all of them last week so it appears that the, they were installed per the plan, per this survey plan way back in 91. Um, and I have photographs of them I could show in a moment. But basically, we have uh, one off, off the pavement here. The, the land slopes down toward Watershop's Pond. And there's a, a monitoring well here with a metal stick-up pipe. And then down a, a sewer easement there's another monitoring well. And then there's two tandem monitoring wells in a more upland location uh, over here. And, and they appear to be installed at, at the uh, locations, which makes sense as having been a surveyed plan. And I, I've had a number of these projects over the years where um, because we're in the 100 foot buffer, we, we have to, uh, uh, obtain a permit. So it appears back back in the day they, they did so in order to access the work site with a likely a, a um, caterpillar tracked drill machine. They they likely tru trundled into the area and within within a day or two installed the monitoring wells and then and then exited. And for whatever reason that we're un unsure of why the uh, commission was never uh, given a follow-up, um, uh, you know, uh, re re request for compliance. So, so that's basically why we're here today. Um, with with Mr. Sullivan being a, an interested party, we'd like to have that um, item 
uh, resolve before he, he continues further on his, his due diligence assessment. Okay. Um, are there any questions where with where we are and where the wells are? One, two, three, four. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So Greg Breyer. Greg Breyer. Um, oh. I believe behind our this is this is behind Island Pond Road. Correct. Okay. Um, Watershop Pond is is very much north of here. What you've got behind there are the wetlands of um, of Murray Park. Um, okay. Uh, no, not even Murray Park. Um, but that's okay. We're concerned, of course, about the wetlands that are here. What was that last word you used, uh, Mr. Sullivan, is interested in what kind of an assessment? Well, we're... we're we're doing a due diligence assessment, which means we're, yeah. we're you know, we're, yeah. we're testing uh, the land. And as, as one of the issues, um, we, you know, part of that is, is doing title work. And then we came across this, um, right. This, this order and wish, wish to close it out. The wells. Okay. Yep. Thank you. So uh, are there any other questions regarding the map? Uh, no, I just want to let everybody know that I was able to um, to go out there earlier today uh, to check out the actual sites of all those wells. I was able to, with the help of an associate from O'Reilly, I was able to find all four of those monitoring wells. I took pictures of them as well, so I was able to go out there. Yeah. Um, I, I do have a, a quick question, Paul. You said that there's no there, there's been no data on the wells? No. Um... This work, uh, obviously, it was done uh, by an environmental compliance service. I, I believe that was the signator on this. Uh, yeah, it was an ECS project. You know, a very well-known consultant back in the day. They, they've become Atlas okay. services. And we we did inquire with, with um, some individuals there. And there, there's no digital or paper record of whatever um in, ensued from this work so we have no idea okay i wonder so, if that he would have any information i mean probably they don't they, they don't have it. okay no nope. i was maybe reaching out to them but okay yeah so um bear with me a second i'll just x out of that and then simply the the monitoring wells, if you can see, you can see a, a metal pipe here on your screen. Yes. Um, this is a, a typical monitoring well. This is one of them that's that's there in the wetlands. And uh, they're a standpipe metal casing with a lock. And um, the wells inside are intact and usable. So we'll, we'll be using them. Um, and, and you can see the ground surface around these features are, looks looks just like any any other area within this wetland. It's not disturbed. It's not eroded. It just has your standard leaf litter cover. And yeah, we were surprised to find them in such good shape. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's essentially it. I, I mean, um, my my my. Um, closure idea here is that you know there there was there were wells proposed they were installed in their location that was proposed and they appear to be there and intact so it's really that simple yeah and i can confirm that as well after the site visit i can confirm that so 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 with, within our our um package there was a, a letter um, the the actual order of conditions, the map, and a um, a form, you know, requesting uh, approval for for closure of the order. Does anybody from the commission have a question? Have any questions? Again, I do. Um, can we assume then that the um, these monitoring wells are to uh, are have they ever assessed the quality of of the groundwater, is is that the purpose of them, Mr. Tanner? Yes, indeed. Yep. Good. Um, 
from from your visuals, uh, they look undisturbed, which is good. Um, may I ask Joe Sullivan? Uh, um, I'm I'm well aware of the terrain down from the parking lot behind uh, the the map that you showed us. Let's just say to the left or the west. Yep. Um, Joe, where does the snow removal go? Do they ever use behind? Oh, the the cleaners and the the, the Walmart. Uh, not Walmart, Walgreen. It just not is snow ever. Um, I'm I'm concerned about runoff. I Joe's mute. What I've seen here from the previous uh, from from the landlords is uh, usually they mount it up around the sign in the front. I don't even think they do Good. too much in the rear uh, for okay. clearance. Although I, I I have seen advanced auto parts getting deliveries in the back, but there's never been serious mounting in the rear. No, there's no reason to plow it. I just I just wondered uh, behind behind your uh, Sullivan uh, part. Where where does your we, where is your snow? Where are you, we're just being diligent here. Where is yeah, your? Yeah, we larger? have a tight alley in the back. I don't know if you if you you I'm sure you have been in the back there. There it's it's got two containers and uh, it, it's a very small space. So we literally have to have to shovel it out out of the alley, and we usually put it out in the in the parking lot, and they usually pick it up and put it in the mound in the middle of the parking lot. Because it's so it's too tight to get a plow truck or even the snowblower, wow. there's nowhere to really put it. So we have to yeah, I know how narrow that is. Thank you very yeah. much. No problem. Does anybody else have any questions about, about the project? No. Okay. So at this time, I'd like to make a motion to issue the certificate of compliance for the property known as the 106 to 126 Island Pond Road. I would second that. Need a second. Well, when you're first, we need another person. I'll I'll second that. Okay. Oh yeah, I thought Frank already did. Well, yeah, he, he motion. There needs to be. To, to I just heard of no. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll do a quick roll call. Uh, uh, Commissioner Miller? Yes. Uh, Commissioner Ryan? Uh, yes, I heard a different name, sorry. Commissioner Jones? Yes. And Commissioner Bonjourney? Yes. Okay, excellent. So, Paul, if, if you could uh, just provide me with is he still here yeah yeah if you could just provide me with um an address and a place to uh mail the certificate of compliance in the email i can send that out to you as soon as i get all the signatures okay very good okay appreciate it excellent yep yeah thank you for thank uh, you appreciate it um and yeah we appreciate the time so I'll uh, I'll now uh, call this meeting to uh, close at uh, 5:22 p.m. and I'll do another quick roll call and we'll be on our way. So um, call this meeting to close. Is uh, reminding you to mark me present, Adam. What's that? For a quorum. Did you did you mark me present? Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. Maybe my volume is not up. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah. So I'll uh, just do it one more time. Uh, Commissioner Miller. Here. Commissioner Ryan. Here. Commissioner Jones. <laughs> Here. And finally, Commissioner Bonjourney. Here. Excellent. All right. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Um, hope you have a good night. Thank you.